Hey guys, Jason here. I want to share a unique video, something I haven't really touched on yet, and that's how to modify a drum loop using TuneTrack's Easy Drummer. Now I have both Easy Drummer and Superior Drummer, but for this specific project I'm using Easy Drummer, the Metal Machine Pack, just because I, I feel like it fits what I'm trying to do a little better. So anyway, I'm in the middle of putting the finishing touches on my third studio album, Heavy Metal Workout 2. If you guys haven't heard the original Heavy Metal Workout, definitely check that out. There's plenty of links to buy and to listen to that uh, in the YouTube description here. So definitely check that out if you haven't. So anyway, there's a specific part of this song. I'm almost done with this album. Again, I'm just putting some finishing touches. Uh, there's a specific piece that I don't quite like. And um, so I need to rearrange the drums in this loop a little bit. So I figured, hey, why not share this with you guys? All right, now we're a little more up close and personal. So I want to share the last part of the song, then we'll I'll share with you the part of the drums I want to change and we'll change it together. So here's the ending. So that last piece, that ending there, that's the part I want to change. I want you to hear just the rhythm guitars and the drums without the lead track. And that'll give you a better idea of why I want to change it. So here we go. So that last drum piece there, it's a loop, and it's a steady double kick, which normally I love. I love double bass. But I want some more. I want some more dynamics there because, you, as you can tell, the guitar tracks, the rhythm guitars, it's like a do 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 dun dun. There's a note that's held out for a little while there, and I want some more dynamics in between. So this last track here, that's my drum track. And again, I'm using Tune Tracks Easy Drummer. That was a garbage truck just driving by. These cameras pick up everything. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is. I'm going to double click on this little piece here. Now when you double click on any segment, it could be any one of these, it brings up, you see how this changed down below. I'll do this again, I'll go back and click on the track itself over here, brings up my normal, you know, my normal tracks down here, a little bit more detail, but again I'll go back and I'll double click on the part I want to change, double click. Now it brings up all my patterns. You've got, that's one of your uh, symbols there, that's your kick, and so forth. Now I don't like it being this wide, so there's a little area down here at the bottom. You see where my mouse is? I didn't give my mouse cheese. Instead I gave it coffee. Sorry, bad pun. I don't think mice eat cheese anyway. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this a little smaller. So we'll click on this arrow here, or you can drag this bar down here. You can see it right there. Yeah. So I'm going to make these a little smaller. That's about what I like to work with there. And you can either click up here to go back to a segment of the song, wherever you want to be, or in the drum track down here, you can click anywhere too. And I can double click up here. And it plays it for me. So what I want to do is I want to take out some of these double kicks. So let me go back and listen again to where I want to take them out. And I'm, I'm actually going to silence those last two lead tracks there. That's a harmonizing lead. I do that sometimes. I'll record two lead tracks and they'll harmonize and I'll hard pan them. So it sounds really cool, especially if you're listening in stereo. So I'm just going to mute those tracks. That's about where I want the dynamics to kick in. Sorry, I just bumped my camera there. <laughs> so I'm going to take out this kick. So all you do is just delete it. Delete. I'm going to delete that. Uh, I'm going to keep this kick. He's got a snare and a cymbal and a kick here. I'll keep that there. See how that sounds. I want to get rid of that one. And I want to leave this last one because that's my ending. So I've got that and a hi-hat. So now let's see how this sounds. Let's hear it once more. 
I kind of like that. So I'm now I'm missing those double kicks. You know, we, we eliminated those double kicks all the way through. That gives it just a little more dynamic to kind of fit, you know, or complement rather what the guitars are doing. Now this ending, I want something a little bigger there. What's cool is if you've already got, I don't know what you want to call this. If you've already, if you've already got um, one of the drums here, so this is a little hi-hat, you can move this around. I like that crash right there, that's cool. So I want one more cymbal because usually the ending of a song, you've got your kick and sometimes you want two cymbals. So what I'll do is I'll double click on something here. Okay, so that gives me that. And I'll just double click anywhere just to give me an icon and then I can move it around to wherever I want. So I kind of like that. Little crash and that and the kick. So now let's listen to the ending. Very cool. So that, just that little change, that gave us some dynamics. Now, for the sake of not doing a super long video, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go back and I might put some toms in here. Actually, I have a close friend named Tom, <laughs> but just one, it's not plural. Anyway, sorry, I'm full of puns today. Um, if I wanna add toms, I just happened to click in an area where there was a tom. Now, if you wanna duplicate this instead of having a double click, I can press in Studio One. Now I'm using a Mac and an iMac and I'm in PreSonus Studio One. You can just click the D button on your keyboard and that duplicates it. So I can move this around. So just adding those two things, let's those two toms, let's see how that sounds. That was kind of cool. And they're very subtle. You can bring up the volume down here too. See where my, my mouse is down here. You can make it as low as you want or as high as you want. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll admit I was extremely overwhelmed when I bought the Tune Track Easy Drummer and Superior Drummer. I have both programs. I'm just using Easy Drummer for this project with the Metal Machine MIDI pack for metal drums. Um, it's more than enough for this project that I'm doing. But again, I was extremely overwhelmed when I started diving into programming drums, didn't know what I was doing. So I really hope this video helped you in some way. Um, I'm probably gonna make some more changes. I kind of hear some more toms and, and a few more dynamics that I might want to throw in that last little piece, but I didn't want to make this an hour long video. Sometimes you can spend a substantial amount of time on you know, a small segment of your music, which is fine. You know, we want to perfect it. We want it to sound good. So this song is called Attack of Quadzilla. And I know it's uh, kind of a cheesy name there, but it fits because, again, the album is Heavy Metal Workout 2. Now, if you haven't heard Heavy Metal Workout 1, the album I released last year in 2016, again, go through to the description of this video, and there's several links for iTunes, Amazon, and yada yada to check out my music. So definitely check that out. I should be releasing Heavy Metal Workout 2, uh, sometime in March or April, so stay tuned for more on that. Guys, thank you for watching. I really hope this video helped, and see you next time. Keep it metal.